Here's a little video of why I like to use these old uh, BTVM's old technology meters in uh, working on these old radios. So I just got through cleaning the volume pot there on the uh, this old radio, which I've yet to discover what kind it is. And I use the deoxid, which is a great cleaner for contacts. But now I've got this the volume control outputs hooked up to my digital meter and you can see as you adjust it you can't really see if it's moving um, smoothly or not very easily. You got that little bar graph down at the bottom that kind of shows you but you know as the thing auto ranges it kind of jumps around and and uh, makes it hard to really see. There I'm at the minimum and as it you go up in volume it kind of jumps around auto ranges hard to really tell if you got a nice smooth action. So if you connect this up to the VTVM, hang on while I do that. Okay, now you watch the meter there as you change the volume control pot. You can see, you can watch the meter and see if you have a nice smooth movement. There's max volume and you know there's min volume. So you can just see by the meter movement that you have no dead spots or um, dirtiness to the uh, the pot and the, the sweep uh, arm. So uh, yeah, one reason why you need a VTVM for your workshop.